Hey, pretty gang, it is Jen, your exclusive startup business coach. Yes, let's get into it. Okay, five. I mean five. Yes, it's five, okay? First of all, subscribe to the channel. Stop playing with me and hit the like button, okay? Five beauty business ideas that you can start in 2020. 2020 has been one hell of a, okay? One hell of a heck of a year. However, there are still businesses out here that you can be planning to start immediately. Okay, let's get right into it. First things first. Hashtag pretty gang in the comments. Skin products, you guys. Skin products, soaps, lotions, scrubs, um, body oils, you know, natural ingredients. As long as you can do one or two things, okay? The first thing you can do is, one, you can black label. Black label means you get product from somewhere, right? And they're allowing you to utilize their product that's been tested, has its own labels with um, all of the ingredients in it. All you're doing is buying it from them, putting your label on it. That's called black labeling a product, any product. But in this one, in this slide, we're actually talking about um, specifically for skin products, okay? The second thing you can do for your products is that if you are somebody who um, can go and grab those ingredients on your own, um, whether it's um, lotion, scrubs, whatever, and you label it properly, okay, on somewhere like Etsy, maybe um, that's when it work. Place like um, Instagram, right? You want to make sure that you're labeling these things so that people know what ingredients are in your products. Okay, so that's the first business you can start right now is a skin product line. The second thing is going to have to do with hair, of course. Okay. One of the first businesses that you can start right now is a braiding business. For those of you guys who do not know, I have a braiding course where I teach you how to start your braiding business for, um, you can either catch the replay for $10 or you can get the whole entire course for, I believe, $37, okay? Check for that in the description below. The second thing you can do is you can either learn how to install extensions or you can go ahead and you can sell extensions the third thing you can do is wig installs you guys lace fronts are popping okay lace fronts is everywhere ball cap neck things is everywhere if you know how to do that you can charge somebody 50 100 dollars for a install yes ma'am a install or you can create the wig for somebody if you know how to create wigs people will pay nice money for you to create a wig literally you can create a wig put it on instagram and literally you can put that same wig on instagram um ebay um etsy and if somebody buys that wig boom you, you just made a sell okay um now here's the thing about hair that we all know when it comes to all this hair stuff is that most places when you start to do hair there is usually a license attached to it. Now, for my braiders out there, you guys know I have a video on this channel where I tell you which states require for you to have a license to braid, okay? But to create wigs, to do wig installs, I have yet to see a, a, a license or a permit. Really, you guys already know, if you know how to slay some, a wig, okay, you could slay some hair, people do not really ask you, okay, where your license other than um, the state board, okay? So you definitely wanna look in the hair, especially if you know how to do hair or install hair. The the next thing is, yes, honey bun, do you see <laughs> your girl? I don't know if y'all can say, but your girl got braces, yes, okay? So um, what you wanna do, or an opportunity that you can get into is teeth whitening. Now, as of right now, um, because of you know what's going on in 2020, the vid, okay, the Rona, um, this is something that you can get into, and the good thing about this is, the, um, like, say, for example, I've been to the dentist myself, and what it is at the dentist is that pretty much what they're asking you is they're taking your temperature, they're doing questionnaires. But when it comes to a business that you can start teeth whitening, and pretty much you can, uh, you know, help somebody brighten their smile, you can do this at, your, at their home. They can come to you. You can come to them. Um, usually the uh, starting kits, the kits for teeth whitening, um, I've seen some for $175. Only thing you'll need to do after that is learn how to utilize the kit properly, okay? So that's the business that you can get into. That's more of an in-person business, but teeth whitening is something that you can do. Lashes, you guys know, lashes, honey, you need to, you know, bat them lashes, okay? Now I have a video on here where I tell you guys how to start a lash business. The, the, it remains the same, okay? Again, a lot of it with this, these lashes, it can boil down to um, black labeling. Pretty much, you buy it from Alibaba, you buy it from 
um, AliExpress, you buy it from, um, what's the other one that people are using now? Oh, you buy it from DHgate, you buy it in um, lump sums, you black label it, put your own label on it, and you literally can start selling lashes for $15 to $20, uh, you know, lashes um, on um, on Instagram, okay? Or if you have a YouTube channel, or if you have a website, you know, you just need a place for people to go with the traffic, but you can look into lashes. So that's as far as the product. The other thing that you can do is you can learn how to install lashes, okay? You can be the person, um, have any of you ever been to the mall where there's usually somebody there doing makeup and all of that? And majority of the time they know how to install lashes. So that's something you can do. And I've actually looked around. So um, there's training that usually costs um, about $250 in order for somebody to show you or train you how to install lashes, whether those are individuals or the strip, okay? And $250, I think that's pretty good as far as the training because if you um, know how to do some additional things, makeup, hair, all that, knowing how to do lashes will just enhance your business or it's just a business you can start all on its own. And then the last but not least, okay? Yoni and vagina care is becoming very extremely popular. Um, as you guys see where we are in the world right now, a lot of people are trying to, um, calm themselves, be less stressed, you know, do what they need to do for themselves. So one of the things that you can learn to do is you can learn how to steam. You can do, um, Yoni steams. You can, you know, get the training for that. Another thing that you can become is a herbalist. There are a lot of women who, um, struggle with, um, fertility. So if you can become a womb practitioner, that is something um, that you can do. There are some people who know how to mix a certain types of herbs. You know, they're one-on-one -on -one with the client. And um, some of these people, some Erica Badu, okay? I think that they said she's helped 3,000 plus women um, with fertility because of the herbs and, and the things that she's helped them to do by being a womb practitioner. I don't think she called herself a womb practitioner, but she's pretty much helping women with um, fertilization, um, I said fertilization, fertility, and um, that's what usually womb practitioners are. They help you with your fertility, um, hormone balance, all that good stuff. Okay, and the next thing that you can learn is waxing. Honey, baby, if you like me, you ain't been to, you haven't gotten a chance to see your, your esthetician, okay? My esthetician was, she opened up, then, um, I literally had an appointment on the 22nd and no, I had an appointment on the 24th and they closed her down on the 22nd. So waxing is something that you can get into. A kit for waxing is not, it's literally the kit. Well, the kit itself on um, Amazon is about 40 bucks, 30 to 40 bucks. Um, but if you want to get the training, I've seen some trainings for $375, okay? So you definitely want to look into waxing, um, wound practitioner, and steaming, okay, you guys? So those were all the businesses that um, I believe that you can start in 2020. Now, for those of you guys who do not know, I have another video where I told you what businesses you can start in 2019. Those businesses are still relevant in 2020. And I think it's going to be relevant for 2021, okay? Some of these businesses are not going anywhere. Right, hair is not going anywhere, you know, fertility is not going anywhere. Um, what teeth whitening is not going anywhere. People want to, people want a nice smile, okay? So, you guys, I hope that this was helpful, and I'll talk to you guys later. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and bye, y'all. Hey, don't rush.